Welcome back to another episode. Today's topic is distractions. Everybody has them, everyone has to deal with them. And the question is, are they detracting you from your goals? So, distraction, what's a distraction? Squirrel! <gasps> distraction, right? I'm speaking to you on the video, all of a sudden something grabbed my attention. I turned, I looked at it, and then I turned back. And fortunately, you're still here, but if I did it for a little too long, I might have lost you. You might have tuned out. So that's what distractions do. They take our attention away from what we're focused on. And usually, if you have your goals written down, if you have them top of mind, if you review them regularly, that's something that maintains your focus. But distractions take that away. And why do they take them away? Well, that distraction, there's something interesting about it. It's, it, it's something that... Whew, it gives some gratification kind of knowing like someone mentioned something you want to you know take a quick look to see hey what's that why because you don't want to miss out for the same reason that you're focused on your goal right you don't want to miss out on that but if there's something that comes across your field of vision or something that is much briefer in nature you think oh man if i don't take my attention away and look at that or, or interact with that very quickly i could miss out on what's happening right around me so the big important thing is you actually know what's important to you because if you know what's important to you, you're never going to be missing out. So what's a distraction? A distraction is an attention stealer. If you are focused on your goals and you want to make sure that that is something that you're able to achieve and knock out, you want to deal with the attention stealers. So how do you do that? Well, obstacles. When you're dealing with uh, going towards your goals, you have to deal with obstacles every day. Distractions are one of those. Now, you may have a challenge that actually stops you or impedes your progress in getting toward your goal, but there are big distractions, or I'm sorry, big challenges, little challenges. Distractions can represent one of those little challenges. Now, they can also be big, but let's focus on the little ones because those are the ones that, you know, you add up enough of them and they can be a big detractor. So let's try to stop them in their tracks. So... Distractions are obstacles, the little obstacles, we'll focus on that, between you and your goals. And so the reason that they actually work is they use temptation as a way to grab your attention. So they tempt you. So how do you get rid of a distraction? Well, distractions are going to happen regardless of whether you turn your attention to them or not. So you need to put yourself in a place where you can be successful. So you can do that by working in a distraction-free environment. I actually got up early today to film this video. And if you listen, you don't hear my wife, you don't hear my kids. Those are distractions that are not gonna detract me from delivering this video. So I actually created an environment that is distraction-free. That is probably one of the easiest things that you can do. If it's not easy, it's, let's say it's the most effective methods uh, to make sure that you remove the distractions. But Let's say I'm filming this video and my family's still awake and they're moving around me. Well, you're going to see some uh, folks pop up over my left or my right shoulder. And I had to be focused enough to know that delivering this content to you is more important than the little distractions that are actually happening around me. So my willpower needs to be stronger and I need to recognize that I have a priority in front of me. And my focus needs to be on you for the entire message that I actually need to deliver to you. And then when I'm done, I can open everything back up. But that takes a little bit more willpower. I have to be strong enough to just keep doing what I'm doing. And I have to be able to block the rest of the world out. Now that's something that can be an acquired skill. I've had to do that ever since I was a kid. My sister was playing music as I was trying to do my homework. So that takes practice over time. But if you are looking for to be more effective in achieving your goals, you need to be able to remove the distractions. Um, so if you can do that in a distraction-free environment, start. But if you're finding that to be a little bit more difficult, you need to train and condition yourself so that whatever goal you have in front of you, you focus all of your energy on that for whatever period of time that you need to. And then you take a step back, you relax, you can take everything else in. But hopefully that was useful and important to you. I wanted to share uh, a story of how removing distractions from my son's work 
actually helped with his bottom line. So I hope you enjoy. Hey Ethan, how's it going? Good. All right, I have a question for you. You seem like you're you're done with your schoolwork a little faster than usual. Why is that? Um, because I had distractions and my dad helped me with that. To like. Wait, you had distractions? You were distracted while you're doing your work? Yeah. You were. So what did your dad do? He turned off the Wi-Fi so I couldn't. Wait, he turned off the Wi-Fi or he restricted the Wi-Fi? He restricted. Oh man, so how long do it usually take you to do your work in the morning? Maybe two to three hours. Two to three hours. And how long are you doing it now? One hour to one thirty. One hour to one thirty. So what are you doing with the extra time that you have? Um, I've been, well, I've been, um, I've been riding my bike more. Okay. And I've, well, watched a bit, t a bit more TV. Oh, well. Hey, I'm getting it back in with the bike riding. And, um, more relaxation. More what? More relaxation. More relaxation. So, when you get your work done, you have more time to play, yes? Yes. All right. Glad to hear it. Appreciate the feedback. High five. All right.